Hey, welcome to part one of four of this series of videos on trans functions. What I'm going to show you in this series of video, videos is how to convert an audio differential equation. So you can see here we've got a audio differential equation for this familiar mass spring damper system that you might have all seen at some point. And you probably all come across audio differential equations at some point in your education, maybe at high school. So in this, what I'm going to do is show you how to go from an audio French equation to the to the use of a transfer function. So transfer functions are what we are pretty much the bread and butter of what we use to mathematically model and develop a closed loop control system in con using control theory. So it's the bread and butter. So using, for example, a proportional integral and derivative control, developing that and using a transfer function to represent effectively the system. So this transformation is undertaken using the Laplace transform. So effectively moving from the time domain into the complex frequency domain and then effectively algebraically manipulating the equation into the transfer function form. And some of that might sound confusing to begin with, but these ideas and the concepts will become clear after this series of videos. In terms of the sometimes when you see some of the ideas and the concepts, they're much more difficult. Uh, when they first appear than they actually are in actual practice and how to realize and use them you'll get familiar with them and you'll see that the content the, the ideas are not really that difficult and they're quite straightforward and that's the reason why we use transfer functions so after this lecture you should be able to undertake the laplace transformation of first and second order order difference equations um, because we can effectively mathematical model components um, subcomponents of um, systems or components of a what make up a closed loop control system using a combination of first and second or second order audio differential equations we'll talk more about that and then rearrange the laplace equivalent of the ode into this transfer function form that i've just spoken about so as i mentioned on the previous slide the starting point is the use of an ordinary differential equation also known as an ode so what i've got here is four examples of linear time invariant ode models of components so I've got a low pass filter here or an, R an RC circuit. So electrical circuit I've got here, a water tank, here a um, quarter vehicle suspension model of a vehicle and here a DC motor, so direct current motor. So as I said previously, we're gonna be looking at first and second order audio differential equations in this series of videos. So the highest order on this RC circuit is first order. The water tank is first order. This here, this mass spring damper system here that you've probably all seen before is second order because the highest power here is two. And then this audio differential equation here that we've used to represent the, the dynamics or the motion of the, the DC motor is given by this. Again, it's a second order audio differential equation. The, sec the highest order there is second. So this here, this DC motor is a virtual lab provided by MathWorks. So first and second order, so these are developed based on first principles. The first stage, really, when you're looking at an audio differential equation is you should be able to identify the input, output and the system. So if I'm looking at the RC circuit, the input is the voltage in and the output is the out. And then the coefficients relates to the model are here, this R and this C, which relate to the resistor and capacitor. The water tank, the input is this flow in here. So flow in and the output here is the height of the tank. So H sub H, um, H of T here's so the height. Okay, it's not flow out. Um, so that there is the input, the output and the coefficients of the model, as you can see here, or this A here for the area, rho, which is the density of the water, G, the gravitational constant and R, which is the restriction of this um, area here. The mass spring damper, so the system is the, the mass, the spring and the damper. The input is this here, is F of T, so it's the force, and the output here is the is the displacement. And then finally for the DC motor, the this is just here, rather than actually having physical components, it's just a it's just a mathematical model that describes the motion of the DC motor that you saw it move at earlier where V in is the voltage in and the output would be the angle 
and here what you've got is the angular velocity and the angular acceleration. So similar with the with the mass wind damper, you've got the displacement and the derivative of that is the velocity and the derivative of that is the acceleration. And then likewise for the water tank, you could look at the rate of change of the height. So what we'll now start talking about is this Laplace transform. So as I said previously, components of a closed loop control system can be modelled using a first order and a second order or differential equation, as you can see here on this down, down here on this diagram. The Laplace transformation, as I said previously, allows us then to transform these first order or differential equations and second order into the equivalent transfer function. That process, as I told you, is something we're going to talk about in this video and is something that actually is quite straightforward. And there's various reasons as to why we actually undergo, undertake that process. So audio differential equations, they cannot be modelled into this block diagram form that you see here. So this way you can see G of S, and you'll understand what that is shortly. You cannot mathematically model an ODE in this form. Converting an ODE um, to an algebraic equation under, via the Laplace transformation allows us then to algebraically manipulate the equation, so just using formal rules of algebra, to then rearrange this ODE into this transfer function form. So Laplace transformation effectively allows us to use rules of uh, uh, algebra to effectively rearrange the equation into transfer function form. You'll see this process is relatively straightforward. What you'll see in the next video, so if you go on to the video two, so part two, you'll see that we use the table as a transform. So effectively, we use the table as a transform to convert from the time domain, which we use for the audio differential equation, into the frequency domain or the complex frequency domain, which uses the Laplace transformation. So we can use the table as a transform that then make our life much, much more straightforward. We don't have to undertake um, kind of um, really advanced mathematics each time we just use the tables of transform because the forms from converting a first and second order ODE into the transfer function form are always the same you can also undertake the inverse Laplace transformation so if you if you really if you get kind of an overall closed loop uh, control system transfer function which is something we'll talk about in more in future videos we can then get the time solution and you do <clears throat> to do that, you undertake the inverse Laplace. Again, don't worry too much about that right now. There's also further things that, an, that a transfer function will um, inform us, and it's things such as what the transient and the steady state components of a system or a closed loop control system are effectively going to do. We can easily uh, determine these without really taking, undertaking any advanced um, calculations which are not so easily to do in easily done in the time domain. But in the frequency domain transfer function, we can quite easily determine what the final value of the system is going to be, i.e. the value of the system when it's in steady state and also components of when it's in transient, i.e. it's oscillating if it's, say, for example, a mass spring damper. So there's various benefits, um, and you'll see these used in the next um, three videos and also in the following videos that follow this um, series of videos on transfer functions.